What do chatbots cost? This is a loaded question. It would be like if you said, what does a house cost? What does a website cost? The answer is it depends. What does it depend on? Well, look, it depends ultimately on the complexity and how far you want to go to really bring your chatbot to life. But as we start thinking about your chatbot, there are five buckets of costs that you'll want to include. And with all five of these, they could, these could be as large or as small as you want them to be. For example, I could choose to promote my chatbot only to my existing customers. And maybe my promotion costs are very low because I'm using owned channels like my website and email or my sales reps or it's part of the user experience. Alternately, if my chatbot exists for awareness and I really want to reach a lot of people, I may have a couple million dollars in my advertising or promotion budget. The bottom line is all of these cost buckets can be as big or as small as you choose to make them. But what you'll want to do is make sure you think about all five of these cost areas when assessing <coughs> the budget you need for your chatbot. And you may find some of these are large or small. It really will link to your own goals and objectives for your chatbot. So let's start with setup costs. So in terms of your setup costs, you're going to need to really think about a number of different things. From a setup standpoint, you need to think about if you need to do consumer journey mapping, meaning if you're not sure what the problem is you're trying to solve and how to solve it, you may need to actually invest in really getting to know your consumers a little better to find and understand the key problems that you're solving and how to solve them better with a chatbot. So if you need to spend some time on this, this consumer journey mapping stage, this would be part of your discovery process where you're really thinking about, okay, how does somebody interact with this chatbot? How am I helping them to solve this problem? And so that would be that first cost you could have is just figuring out how you want it to kind of work at a high level and what it does for your end consumer. The second bucket is technology. <coughs> this would be the cost of the actual chatbot software. Most people, when they think of the cost of a chatbot, this is all they think about. But as you can see, when you start to look at the bigger picture, that's only a small component of your overall cost. Next is mapping out the pathways or the conversational intelligence for your questions, answers, and interactions. So this is the time and energy it would take you or an agency to really map out the conversation flow that you want your chatbot to have. So somebody comes in, here's what we ask them, then here's the choices. Or somebody comes in, we say, hey, what can we do for you? And then here's all the things they could say and how we want to try to understand those and where those should go. But it's this mapping of the conversation that you'll need to do. And this requires a lot of work to make sure that it really is usable and user friendly. <coughs> then of course you have tests, you have costs for creating, testing, and optimizing. So your first one may not exactly work right even before your launch. You'll probably want to do some user testing and then test and optimize it as well. And included in all of these setup costs, don't forget the internal time and resources that you may be pulling in to help for this as you think of the total costs involved in this stage. The second step is launch costs. In the launch costs, you'll want to think about <clears throat> the cost you need to launch the initial chatbot. So this is probably going to be promotional costs. So maybe you do some PR as well as advertising. You'll need to promote it on your website. So maybe you have some graphic design costs, things like that. But then also monitoring the live launch. If you have a chatbot that you're really going to push and you expect a lot of users right away, you'll want to start the monitoring and optimization process immediately so that you're actively monitoring your chatbots to see what are people asking, are we creating a good experience? So you'll want to be monitoring the launch right away, which will take time and resources. Next is your going promotion costs. So just because you've launched it and told people about it, you still presumably want people to find it and use it. So in order for people to find and use your chatbot, you want to continue promote, to promote it. So this could be media, PR, and other going promotion, depending on what your plan looks like. Next, you have run costs. So you may have set up costs in your technology and everything else to get it up and running, but you'll also have going costs. So what is your going technology costs? 
What are the going, what's the amount of time you should be taking to manage this on an ongoing basis? What about updates? Any additional costs to promote and drive traffic? So really think about once this is launched, what will we continue to need to do to make it successful? And then optimization. So ideally, once you launch the chatbot, you'll need to tweak and refine these conversation paths that you mapped out at the beginning. Almost no one's going to get it right right away. And even if you start off strong, there will always be opportunities to improve. So make sure you have plans to optimize and improve, especially if you have a more complex chatbot with natural conversation and artificial intelligence. You'll need to have a lot of time to train your chatbot to become smarter. So make sure that you include all of the, all of the costs in the way that you think about your costs. I will spend a little bit of time getting more specific into the costs of the technology itself, because that's what a lot of people really want to understand. <clears throat> and this really depends on the platform that you want to use. So if you're building off of chatbot software that already exists, and you can just build on top of that, what's nice about existing chatbot software is that you can create drag and drop. So with no programming knowledge, you can drag and drop your way to an awesome chatbot. If you want to do that and you're using an existing platform, there's actually free trial accounts. So if you want to just play with it a little and test it out, you could do that to get started. Um, and you should budget, I mean, on the low end, you probably could spend even less than $1,000, but one to $5,000 plus the time it takes you to create the experience would probably be an okay estimate to kind of get it up and running and off the ground for a simple chatbot on the low end. And if you look at the cost of a lot of these platforms, you'll find their pro accounts start at as little as $30 a month. But that would be for a limited number of users. So as your number of conversations per month grows, so will your cost. So it's important to make sure that you understand your choices there. The next is custom building with integrations. And this could cost as much or as little as complexity you want to add. Generally, you'll look at on the low end, 20 k On the high end, maybe up to 200 k to build with custom integrations and to really have, you know, things like conversational intelligence and artificial intelligence to make it work. So as you think about the cost of your chatbot, think about the platform or the technology cost, but please don't stop there. Take the time to evaluate the five buckets of cost to make sure you have a full idea of what your chatbot is likely to require in terms of investment.